So basically, guys, Pengaka shows a small island. Now, topography-wise, it's a, for those of people who have dived back to Belong already, if I've had the chance, it's a very similar dive set to back to Belong. But actually, most of us instructors prefer Penga to back to Belong because for me, it's a much bigger site. There's more going on, and it can have a lot of activity on this particular site. Now, right now, it should be a rising tide now. You never really know with Komodo. It can be very, very confusing. So probably what we're going to do is jump on the northern side basically of the actual uh, dive site now it's a small island with a reef basically going down off an angle like this you can get quite deep on this dive site you know it probably goes down to 40 50 meters for example but we're not going to go that deep of course we might go maybe maximum 25 26 meters okay now the nature of this particular dive site guys on this particular tide is this what happens is the current hits the back of the small island what happens is it splits around and pushes out either side. So what you actually end up having is two current lines, like little rivers basically, that will hit the back of the island and then go this way and go this way. And what happens also, the current leaves, comes back in again, and then creates two current lines, pushing you basically towards the down current. So in the middle of the area here, where it's generally where we actually jump in, this is the relaxing area. It's where you don't have to do a damn thing, just relax, have a cup of tea, slice of pizza, and basically just enjoy yourself. Now, as you start heading towards one side of Penga, what happens is you'll start to feel the pull of the current, depending on the day, of course. Normally, this is what happens. The current will start to pull you and think, that's nice, I'm gonna go that way. However, at some point, you have to turn around, because at some point, what happens when you reach the edge of the current line, the current line that comes back the, 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 the what we call back alley current eventually meets the, the, the regular current and causes down current. So even though it feels nice going with the current, at some point you have to make the decision basically to stop and turn around. So what we do in this particular dive site is what we call a multi-level zigzag dive. So initially we'll jump in the middle, we'll go down to the deepest point first depending on your certification and then basically we'll do a zigzag dive getting gradually shallower, gradually shallower, gradually shallower. Now each time your guide's probably going to take you to the current line where the down current is. Down current's very easy to recognize guys. You'll generally see the fish either behaving erratically or facing the current. They're basically swimming up like this vertical. So if it's strong, the fish are facing vertical. The reason we go to the current line is because normally that's where the best activity is. You can see the giant trevallis, the big snappers, the emperor fish. And if you're lucky like yesterday, you can see eagle rays and other cool things here as well, and also sharks. So what we tend to do is cruise back and forth. Now it's quite a large dive site, so it will take quite a bit of time to reach the current line. And also as you change in depth, you see different things. As you go deeper, you've got more soft coral down there. And as you go shallower, you've got these really impressive huge table corals, lots of stag horn, and it's a very, very impressive dive site. Probably the best coral of anywhere in the national park, actually, that we all agree anyway. So it's a really wonderful dive site. Um, if possible, round the corner there's a plateau, a shallow plateau. Now, it may not be possible to get there depending on the current. However, if the current is mild, it might be possible to kick round the corner and there's a shallow plateau of about 10 metres and usually it's got quite a bit of current there, that's where the most activity is. But in that shallow plateau area, there's all these huge table corals, very low down, and often you can find juvenile white reef sharks, very, very cute and also very small. But depending on how strong the current is, you might be able to go there, it might be not possible to get there, but maybe your guy will have a go and see if the plateau is accessible. You'll normally see the white reef shacks swimming around, but they won't leave 
because they're babies in there, so they swim around if you disturb them, and they'll keep close by. They'll keep cruising back, wait for you to leave, basically, so they can go back and check on their children. But it's a very, very nice dive set in that way. Other things you can see as well, guys, look out for.
died must have. He just died in 38. Oh, Whenever you're ready, just go up. Okay? Hello, Hello guys.